Carl Summer, president of Reliable EDM, has a wealth of machining experience. Having worked as a machinist, tool and die maker, foreman, tool designer, and operations manager, Carl now shares with you from his wealth of experience. I'd like to speak to you about the capabilities of RAM EDM. On the table before you are various parts made with RAM EDM. And if you notice, there's something missing here. We don't have a lot of parts to show you because in RAM EDM, we actually remove the metal. Now with wire EDM, we use a wire and we cut out a part and we cut out slugs. And I'd like you to look at this scene now where I was teaching on how wire EDM works. And notice the display, all the items, because they're slugs. Most of that is what has been wasted. Now, as we cut out the slug and you throw that away or we sell it for scrap metal. But here with RAM EDM, we don't have any slugs because we're burning everything away. And one of the things we do with RAM EDM, they, when they give us the jobs, we're a job shop primarily. We don't do any in-house work. They remove as much metal as they can. So we're actually refining the cavity. What the mill can do, it might leave a round corner. We can go in and make a sharp corner. So these are some of the ideas what we can do with RAM EDM. I'd like to show you a few of these electrodes now. This is one of the electrodes that we made. And actually the parts that you're going to see is the reverse of the electrode. And this was in a vertical position going up and down. Here's another part that was made. Here's one. Here's another part. A better angle of it. Then you have this part over here. Various teeth on it. And we have another part over here. I'd like to show you some of these large parts. This is a large hex over here. Here's another large electrode that we've made here in our shop. Here's another one. Curves around it and flats. Here's a large fabricator electrode that we've made in the shop here. Here's another shape over here. And here's another electrode that was made. And then we have another large electrode that, behind all the pieces. And this was a large electrode, a keyway that we EDM into a part. So this gives you a little bit of an idea, some of the different kinds of electrodes that we have used in our shop. Now we're down here in Houston, Texas, and we do a lot of oil field work. And a lot of that work is very precise and very unique. We already EDM parts, tubes that are 10 feet tall, stick them in the machine vertically, and we EDM them. We don't show you this because some of the things we do, we want to keep it as a little bit of a secret, how we manage the EDM parts so tall. And also we lay them down horizontally. I tried to give you a little bit of idea of RAM EDM, the electrodes that we have over here, some of the capabilities. And I'd like to show you an electrode over here. And just imagine if you had to make an electrode like this. The company sends you a print of this electrode, and here's a side view of it. And here's a top view. You can see the tapers. Now you're going to have to program this electrode. And you can imagine being on the computer now and programming and figuring out. You're going to make it a little bit smaller because RAM EDM makes a little larger cavity. And all the complications that are there making these electrodes. And my son Steve is a mechanical engineer and he does most of this programming. And I'm going to have him now come and explain to you orbiting and some other capabilities of RAM EDM. One of the unique features of the RAM EDM is the ability to orbit. A lot of times we will orbit an, uh, an electrode to put threads into a hardened piece of material or any type of material that's very difficult to machine or 
maybe a deep hole that needs threads. Uh, so we, we, get, we have an existing electrode that has the threads in it, has the pitch in it, and then we would drop this electrode in the hole. So the, the pre-drilled hole needs to be the drill size of the tap, drop the electrode in it, and you would lock the Z and just orbit around until you get the desired depth of the threads in the hole. And you can put any kind of thread in, threading uh, electrode in there. This is a 5 16 24. It's a fine thread. We even have like 1032 electrode. Any kind of threads. This is actually an Acme thread for a very specialized thread. And again, you can put that in any type of material that's hard, very difficult to machine. Another feature of orbiting is the ability to spiral orbit where you would take an electrode and move down in Z and twist in C at the same time. So you can put a lot of grooves and spiral grooves inside parts depending on the pitch that's required. This is another example of spirals that were EDM'd into these parts. Another thing we can do with the RAM EDM is the, the traditional way of ramming is everything is normally done in Z. It pretty much comes down in the Z burn. There's also the ability to do a side burn where the electrode will just move you know, sideways. But another thing we can do is the take an electrode here and we can hold this and then move it in X, Y, and Z. And so we can burn in any type of plane, any type of angle, and rotate it in C and then go back and do an, another X, Y, and Z burn. And so any type of multi-directional cavity can be accomplished with the RAM EDM by using that, that feature. Now we can RAM EDM to accuracies up to plus or minus one-tenth of a thousand. Now your hair is about two and a half thousandths. If you could picture this as the size of your hair, and if you would cut this 25 times, that's how accurate we can cut with RAM EDM. Plus or minus one-tenth of a thousand. And another important fact, as Steve mentioned a little bit about it, is about the hardness of material. That's what's unique about doing EDM, the same for wire. It doesn't really make any difference if it's hard or soft, or if you've got these exotic metals or materials. It works through spark erosion, so hardness is not a factor in RAM EDM. And also I want to also show you the other capability that we have with some of these RAM EDM machines, and that's with the automatic tool changer, which is going to be demonstrated now in the next video. This is an automatic tool changer on one of our machines. We made this video to go four times faster. A number of electrodes can be placed into the tool changer and the RAM EDM will automatically replace the electrodes according to the input of the program. Electrical discharge machining has revolutionized the machining of many parts. We showed you a few capabilities of this amazing process. If you want to learn more, there's lots of information that you can get from this free book that's on our website, Complete EDM Handbook. My son and I wrote this book. Colleges and trade schools also purchase this book and they use it as a textbook. There's questions at the back of the book. In the next video, we're going to show you the capabilities of RAM EDM and explain the process, how it works. Located in the heart of the high-tech energy capital of the world, Reliable has the largest EDM job shop capabilities in North America, specializing nationwide in wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Our commitment to our customers and our passion for technology has made us the EDM specialists.